3D printed panel lines. Panel lines are a classic way of breaking up smooth surfaces and adding details to model. In this tutorial, I'm just going to go through and show you how you would create panel lines in Fusion 360. This is aimed mainly at Gunpla, but it works for pretty much any other scale model or model you wish to make in Fusion 360. The simplest way to draw a panel line is to just simply draw a rectangle. So, I'll be drawing this at 0.2 millimeters, but panel lines can vary between 0.2 to 0.4, depending on how pronounced you want them to be. Now we've got our rectangle, we just extrude this down by 0.2. And that's it. Simplest method. But it doesn't always work. It only really works on flat surfaces that you can draw on. This is the second technique I use. I like to call it the plane method, as in you make a plane. In this case, I'm going to make it a midpoint plane. Draw a sketch. Project the object and offset it, in this case, 0.2. Now, because I'm in the center, what I will do is when I extrude this, I extrude it 0.1. Both sides. And that gives me one 0.2 millimeter. So if you're working with a flat shape in that plane, perfect. However, you can play around with this. So we will go and make a panel line there. On this plane. Now, in this case, we need to use the intersect tool, not the project. Offset that down 0.2 and then build up a little box above it. We don't care how high the box is, just that there is a box. And then we extrude this, 0.2, and we have a little panel line. Now, it's not perfect. Normally what I would do is I would make a sketch on this plane, project that, offset, 0.2 and then I would do line line 0.2 I don't care where it is in this particular line and then extrude that to there this would give the panel line a curved shape at the bottom however both work perfectly well and you may want to play with them the next way is embossing. Now, I've kind of cheated here. That is the plane from the last one. So, what we do in this is we just draw our shape. In this case, again, I'm just going to say 0 0.2 and then we are going to go to emboss. Emboss is here. So, we select the sketch, this. We select the face, this. Now, as default, it will take it out, but we want to cut it in 0.2. And there. You can move these around. You can rotate them. So they are kind of functional. However, it looks nothing like the line I drew, so it's not always practical. In fact, I mainly use this one for embossing and um, glue pot holders and other such round objects it makes a nice pattern but if you're trying to do anything precise it's not the best route the next technique is called sweep so sweeps need a bit of setup but they are useful for awkward shapes so let's take a angle of that and we'll go random we'll just do there that'll do new so we're drawing a Sketch on this, and we're going to put an intersect. Now, best to use intersect rather than project, because sometimes your shapes do not project well. It just depends on where you're going. Now, what a sweep needs is it needs to have a shape and a line to go with. So that was the line, now for the shape. So in this case, I'm just doing our rectangle, but you might want to play around with this at some point. So that is 0 0.2, it is da -da -da. Mm. 
rate that line would help. And then we go 0 0.2. Actually, no, this bit's 0 0.1. There to there is 0 0.2. Uh, we don't care how much is above that, and sometimes it does help to have a bit extra. Now, this won't work completely, and I'll explain why when we get there. So, right now we've got a panel line. However, didn't quite work. So, this is because the line basically stopped here, and it didn't quite go all the way. Now, you want you can just go and punch that out doesn't really work better way of doing it is back on this line you project it going forward so in this case we're just doing a simple arc and that should do it so if we go back to this and say for the path we wanted to keep going it keeps going. So, as I said, best used on curved or random shapes and you'll get a straight panel line. You can be fancy with these and you can make them turn and do all sorts. It does require a lot of construction lines, a lot of planes, but you can do it and I've done it before. So that is the most powerful one for panel lines. The final method is loft. Now, loft connects two shapes together over different planes. So, in this case, we've got a rather random shape that we've got some panel lines on. Both panel lines are just better, but they don't connect well. You can't just draw a line across here, it's a bit difficult to sweep. So, what are we going to do? We're going to use a loft. So, as I said, it needs two shapes. So, just for simplicity's sake, we go with that, and that. See, it is 0 0.2 millimeters as always. Now, round to the other side. And now we loft the two together. There. to there. And we've got a natural looking panel line that's at a third angle to the others. But at the same time, it matches. So, perfect. Not always the best tool. You have to make sure that you can actually loft between them. And sometimes loft does come out with some weird shapes. However, those weird shapes are really useful when you're designing things. So, let's just take an example. top is a circle, at the bottom is a square. Let's loft the two together. And there. Square, circle. That's all seamlessly merged together. Where and why to use panel lines is a bit subjective and I'll cover it in another video. For now, Thank you for watching, and if you've got another way of making panel lines, let me know in the comments below.